going on YouTube? It's G Lloyd and welcome back to another episode of our Tennessee Titans Madden 19 Connected Franchise Series. Now we are here coming off of a loss to the Jacksonville Jaguars. We are currently sitting at the number two spot in the AFC South and we're currently on the outside looking in when it comes to wild card spots. So this is a must win. We're getting through the season. We need to win this game. If we lose, we can pretty much wrap up our chances of trying to make the playoffs. So this is going to be an absolutely huge game for us, and hopefully we can show up. We're going to be taking on the New York Giants. But before that, we're going into scouting once again. So this time we're focusing on the defensive side of the ball. We're going to look at some defensive linemen. We're going to look at a few linebackers as well. Defensive line, we can upgrade like I've been saying. Defensive tackle, probably the position we would upgrade first, but we can upgrade some of these left ends, maybe even our right end at some point, because we can move Jarrell Casey around to left end, right end, defensive tackle. That is the beauty of Jarrell Casey. He can play any position, so we can see who's the best available on the offensive line and kind of move and react accordingly. So you see me looking at left ends. There's a couple of decent ones out there, and now I'm going to go ahead and take a look at some left outside linebackers. We have Brian Aragpo currently out there at left outside linebacker but if we can get a younger guy in who can groom his way into the lineup that could be great because Arakpo is not going anywhere especially after the season he's having right now he's not going anywhere but if we can get a young guy we can slowly improve him and then he's ready to take over as the starter when Arakpo decides to hang it up I think that will be a great look but that is all for scouting and we are jumping now into the game like I said taking on the New York Giants we're playing them in New York so definitely need to win this game we get to meet Saquon Barkley and Odell Beckham for the first time in this series we have to make sure the ball does not get into either of the two's hands we need to pressure Eli Manning try to load up the box on Barkley and hope our secondary who is pretty good hope they're able to just hold Bark, I mean, Odell Beckham to a decent game. I know you can't stop Odell. Just hold him to a decent game, and I think we'll be just fine coming into the game. But for the Giants, they get the football first. First play from scrimmage. This is Eli Manning. He's going with a play fake, looking deep down the field on the first play. And luckily for us, he's going to overthrow his tight end. So instead of a potential touchdown, it is second and ten for the New York Giants right away. This is Odell Beckham. He's making the catch. That's going to be a first down. The next play in the shotgun formation, Odell Beckham. He has the football off to Saquon Barkley. Look at him finding room to run. And Barkley taking this one into Tennessee Titans territory. And that is going to be a pretty big first down for him. Now, after a holding penalty, they're looking at a first and 19. And that is going to be Logan Ryan bringing down Saquon Barkley in the backfield for a loss. So second and 23 now. Eli Manning looking to his left, and he's going to throw an interception. That is a Dory Jackson. And Adore Jackson is taking this one to the crib for a touchdown, a pick six to start off the game for our defense. That is absolutely huge. We're up seven to nothing. That's going to bring Eli Manning back onto the field after throwing that pick. So first and ten. Hand it off to Saquon Barkley. Look at that nice cut right there. And he's going to pick up a nice gain of about seven. Second and three in the pistol formation. They go with a play fake though. Manning looking deep down the field. And this one's going to fall incomplete. We had opportunity to try to pick that one off. Just were unable to do it right here. Saquon Barkley going absolutely nowhere on that third down conversion. They will have to punt it. And that will bring on our offense for the first time today. So Marcus Mario to 18 TDs, 15 picks on the season. Like I said, he's been performing better as of late. Had a terrible start, but has been performing better as of late. So right here, it is first and 10. We're dropping back in this pass is going to fall incomplete. Second and 10 now, we go with a stretch. This is Derrick Henry cutting this one up and Derrick Henry running over a defender, picking up a first down. He will be brought down at the 38 yard line. First and 10, Mariota looking for the dump down. It's gonna be Delaney Walker and he goes absolutely nowhere as he meets the shoulder of Eli Apple. So second and nine, drop back again. Mariota looking to his right and this one is going to be off target looking for Coleman. So now we are looking at a third and nine. We go with a play fake and it does not work at all. Taylor LeWong could not hold on to the block. We have to punt it. And here come the Giants on offense. Odell Beckham, he makes that reception. Luckily for us, he's able to stumble and then knee hits the ground. Second and three. They go ahead and hand the football off to Saquon Barkley, but he is going to meet Wesley Woodyard in the backfield. 39 now for the Giants. 
Manning dropping back, looking to his left, and he's going to find Odell Beckham, but he's going to drop the football. Great play right there by Adoree Jackson. You see the playoff picture. Like I said, we're on the outside looking in. Eight and five are the two teams with the Ravens and the Chiefs. They have a wild card spot. Of course, they have the same record as Jacksonville. We need them to lose also, but we'll start monitoring the game, especially at halftime, kind of see what happens. You see right there, Derrick Henry, he gets a nice gain of six. Second to four. We go with a play action rolling to our right. Get hit as we try to throw it. And, of course, it's going to fall incomplete. So third and four. Dropping back, trying to find a receiver. This is Rashad Matthews, but he cannot hold on to the football. So we have to punt it once again. Here comes Eli Manning onto the field. What can they do offensively? They've been struggling on the offensive side of the ball. We've been struggling on the offensive side of the ball. But right here, they're going to struggle no more because they're going to find Odell Beckham deep down the field. And he is taking them to the 11-yard line. So just like that, Odell Beckham making his presence known. And he's a playmaker right here. They're somehow, somehow able to squeeze that pass in there. I thought that was going to be an interception. But instead, it is second and inches from the one-yard line. They go with a play fake. But down goes Eli Manning being brought down by Brian Arakpo for the sack. So now it is third and eight. Eli Manning's lobbing this one in the back of the end zone. It will fall incomplete attended for Sterling Shepard. They have to go ahead and kick a field goal. So we're still up seven to three, but Mariota is going to continue to struggle. That pass will fall incomplete. Now second and 10, we're dropping back and down goes Marcus Mariota as he gets sacked by Alec Ogletree. Third and 20 now, come out in the shotgun formation, trying to find an open receiver. We are stepping up. We take off running, but we know there is no way we're going to get the first down, and we get brought down well shy of that first down marker. So we have to punt the football. The New York Giants, they're going to take over from the 33-yard line. What do they do right away? Eli Manning going right back to OBJ, but this time he drops the football. Another nice play on the ball by Adoree Jackson, having a pretty good game so far, although he was burnt earlier in the game. Right there to the Saquon Barkley, a nice tough run. But he's only able to get a gain of three. Third down now for the New York Giants. Eli Manning looking to his left, lobbing this one up there. It's going to be caught, and that is going to be a first down for the Giants. The next play, Eli Manning looking to his right. He's going to find Odell again, making another reception, and that will be a gain of seven yards. Second down, they go to the ground. This is going to be um, Saquon Barkley. Look at this, room to run. I don't know what he was doing. He could have kept going straight, but he cut back into our defenders. But we're cool with it. We're definitely going to take it. First and 10 now. Heading the football off to Saquon Barkley. And he will get a few yards right there. But they're now going to be looking at a second and seven. They go right back to the ground. Barkley again. This time picking up a first down and more. Keeping those legs going. He's going to be brought down at the 11-yard line. So now they line up in the pistol formation. Eli Manning. Looking to his right, has a receiver, but Logan Ryan going to make a great play on the ball. That is picked off, and we are going to take back over on offense. So a fantastic play from Logan Ryan. Now we got the football. We go to the ground. This is Derrick Henry trying to bounce back and forth, trying to get that first down. Nowhere near it, only able to get a gain of one. Second and nine, pressure coming. We get rid of it to the right, but that's going to be Alec Ogletree reading that one, looking for Corey Davis. It was not there. And now the New York Giants are taking over from the 25-yard line. So they hand the football off to Saquon Barkley. Look at the moves right there by Barkley. And he picks up another first down. So we're struggling, trying to keep Odell in check and Barkley in check. And those are the two people that we needed to monitor throughout this game. Third and three right here for the Giants. What are they going to do? This is Manning dropping back, looking to his right. And Sterling Shepard somehow able to hold on to that football. So it is first and goal. Eli Manning looking to his right. And he is going to find him on for that catch and a touchdown. And just like that, the New York Giants are going to take the lead. They're up 10 to 7. You see Mario the stats right here. One for seven, one yard, and one interception. Terrible stat line. What can he do here on this possession to try to improve upon it? We check it down to Derrick Henry, but look at this. He is running backwards. The momentum will not allow me to cut back forward, and we end up losing three yards on that reception. So now we're going with the play fake, taking the shot down the field, and we're finally able to connect. That is Corey Davis on that post route, and that's going to take us into New York Giants territory. So we go with a stretch. This is Derrick Henry. Has room to run, taking off down the sideline. Can he get past Landon Collins? No, he cannot. He got his stick out of bounds, but we have the ball now at the eight. So now we go ahead and pitch this one out of Derrick Henry. Gets a couple of blocks trying to get into the end zone, but he'll be brought down at the two-yard line on that one. 
So now we're looking at a second to go right here. This is Mariota looking to go airborne, looking for the slant route. But it's going to be picked off by nobody else except for Alex Ogletree. His second interception on the day. And now the Giants, they stop us from scoring. And now they have an opportunity to try to extend their lead before halftime. Second and ten in the shotgun formation. Eli Manning looking to his left. And this one will fall incomplete. So now a big time third and ten right here. What are they going to do? Eli Manning looking to throw the football once again. Has all the time in the world looking to throw this one. And it is picked off by Wesley Woodyard. So our big time linebacker, our captain, comes up with a big time interception right there. First and 10. We're dropping back. Mariota is going to find Corey Davis making that catch. He's brought down at the 18-yard line. He's still shy of that first down. Marker second and one. Looking for Delaney Walker. He is wide open just sitting down in the zone. He'll be brought down at the 11-yard line. Now this is our opportunity to try to get a touchdown before halftime. This is Mariota rolling out to his right and down goes Marcus Mariota getting brought down for a sack. Now 40 seconds remains here in the half. Stepping up in the pocket, but he goes down again. So two back-to-back -back sacks. We're going to go ahead and just play it safe. You see a few seconds left on the clock. We hand it off to Deion Lewis. He's going to take this one down to about the 21-yard line. We will use our timeout, send out our kicker, and the 38-yard field goes up. And it's good. And that is going to send us to halftime. So the score, we are all tied up at 10 apiece. You see there's only 14 yards passing in half one. Now the Jaguars, we need them to lose, but currently they are beating the Washington Redskins, and Alex Smith, for whatever reason, is just 0 for 1. So it looks like they have not really had the ball on offense to this point in the game. It looks like it's being dominated by Jacksonville. Now going to look at the Cincinnati Bengals and the Oakland Raiders. Game really doesn't involve us too much, but Cincy upsetting the 8-5 and five Oakland Raiders right now with a 4-9 and nine record. They're up 21 to nothing. Now for the third game, looking at the Colts, I expect them to be losing. And this game actually surprising me. It's all tied up at 14 apiece. Andrew Luck 10 for 13, 122, two TDs, and a pick in the first half. But it's going to bring us back to our game. We get the football first. Let's see if we can go down and get some sort of points on this possession. So we go with a stretch to start things off. This is going to be Derrick Henry. The blocks were decent, and he will get a nice gain of five. Second down. Going right back to the ground again. Derrick Henry trying to get some blocks. Able to get some. Picking up a first down. That he's going to be brought down at the 49-yard line. The stiff arm has not been working at all for me. And at least from Derrick Henry's perspective all season long right here. We're stepping up in the pocket. That's Marcus Mariota. He's going to slide down safely at the 41-yard line. Second and two now. Under center. What is Mariota going to do? He's stepping up in the pocket and he gets brought down by Olivier Vernon for a sack. So it is third and nine now. Mariota has a lot of time rolling out to his left. He's gonna decide to keep this one himself and he's gonna use those legs to pick up a first down and run out of bounds at the 32 yard line. First and 10 now. Hand the football off to Derrick Henry and Derrick Henry gets brought down at the 33. So a no game run right there. But we're looking, we had an open Delaney Walker. We get hit as we try to throw it and it will be a fumble. One thing I'm learning is you have to take those sacks, but we have even worse news because Mariota goes out with an injury after that game. So definitely a huge loss for us, especially in the game that we need to win. We have to somehow show out, and this is Barkley right away taking this one to the edge and Barkley taking this one in the Tennessee Titans territory. So we're, we're, we're without our quarterback. We need to make a play. And we need somebody to make a play just about right now. And Wesley Woodyard is going to make that play. Coming up with the interception. There is nothing but green grass in front of him or turf. And he's going to take this one to the crib. A pick six. 60-yard pick six right there from Wesley Woodyard. And we are up 17-10. to 10. So we needed that because our offense, we don't have Mariota at this point. And we needed the lead. And now it's our job to just try to protect the seven-point lead we have. So second and nine. Going with the play fake, this is Eli Manning looking down the field, and that will fall incomplete. So now a third and nine, trying to drop everybody back, make sure we don't get burnt deep. You see Eli Manning has all the time again. How long is he going to hold on to it? He will hold on to it too long because eventually he will be brought down by Derek Morgan for a sack. They will have to punt it. That will bring on our offense, and this time it's going to be led by Blaine Gabbard. They show Mariota coming down the field, but it's Blaine Gabbard out here at quarterback. This is going to be Derrick Henry. He will go nowhere, but 
there will be an encroachment penalty. So now we're looking at a first and five. Derrick Henry on the swing. He's going to pick up a first down right there. That's going to move the chain, take us down to the 47-yard line. The next play, Blaine Gabbert dropping back. He's going to find Corey Davis, and he's only going to get a gain of two. But we're getting Blaine Gabbert's feet wet, getting him comfortable, getting him into a rhythm, and that's definitely good. Right here we go to stretch. This is Derrick Henry getting to the outside, lowering his shoulder, but he will be short of that first down marker so a big time third and one right here we're going to the air can Blaine Gabbert find the open receiver he will find Deion Lewis on the check down again and that will be another first down so we're at the 32 yard line at least we're in field goal range we're dropping back looking deep down the field and that is going to be Corey Davis going up between two defenders making the catch and you see Blaine Gabbert is four for four in this ball game right here we have the football off to Deion Lewis he gets a gain of about three yards right there. Second to go. Blaine Gabbert dropping back. He's looking. He's going to check down to Rashad Matthews making that catch on the drag route. And we are now down to the three-yard line. But third down. We're going to go airborne. Trying to get this one into the end zone. Looking to our left. And this one is going to be dropped by Corey Davis. A big-time hit by Alec Ogletree. He had the ball in both hands. But he could not come down with it. So we sent out the kicker. And the easy kick is going to be good. So we're up 20 to 10, up by 10 points. We just need to get a couple stops and get up out of here with a victory. So they go to the air. First play, that's Sterling Shepard. He's making the catch for a gain of six. Second down now, Eli Manning. He goes ahead and hands the football off to Saquon Barkley, getting a huge block right there. And Saquon Barkley taking this one down to the 45-yard line. So Barkley over 100 yards rushing this game and we still been getting burnt from Odell Beckham as well speaking of Odell they're going right back to him this is him making that reception and he's taking this one down to the 27 yard line so our defense needs to clamp up here at least try to hold them to a field goal first and 10 Eli Manning has a lot of time looking to his right and this one is going to be incomplete a great attempt by Sterling Shepard just could not get both feet down and bounds third and 10 Eli Manning looking to his right again. This is caught this time by Sterling Shepard. He'll be brought down at the 10-yard line. So now first and 10. They go ahead and go to the ground. This is Wayne Gallman this time. And Gallman taking a huge hit at the one-yard line, unable to get into the end zone. And then later, it is second and six right here. They hand the football off to Barkley. He's not getting into the end zone. So a big time third and four. From the four-yard line, can we come up with a stop? Eli Manning rolling out to his right, and he ends up throwing another interception. That is interception number five on the day, and that is Wesley Woodyard's third interception in this game. So our defense is coming up strong. So now, trying to go to the ground as Derrick Henry. He's going nowhere on that carry, losing a yard. Second and 11, still trying to run out this clock a little bit as well. Hand it off to Derrick Henry, still going absolutely nowhere on that carry. So now, third and 10. We're going with the play fake, trying to pick up a first down, looking down the field for Corey Davis. But it's going to be a little inaccurate. We'll overshoot him, and we'll have to punt the football. So now under five minutes to go in the ball game. Eli Manning trying to get something done, taking the shot deep down the field, and that one's going to fall incomplete, looking for Sterling Shepard, second and ten. They're looking to throw the ball once again, of course, looking for the slip screen. It will be caught by Saquon Barkley, but he just stops in his tracks for whatever reason. Let me come up with the easy tackles. Now, it is third and 15, taking a shot down the field, and that is going to fall incomplete. Now, it is fourth down for the New York Giants. They have to go for it at this point. This is Eli Manning looking to his left, and he's going to find Iman, who makes that reception, and that is going to be a first down, a huge first down for the New York Giants. So now it is first and 10. Pressure coming, but Eli gets rid of it in time, and once again, that is Iman on that reception. So first and 10 from the 12, Eli Manning has a lot of time looking to his right, and that's going to be Odell Beckham, of course. That is a touchdown, and that will cut this deficit to just three points. Under three minutes to go in the game, this is a very important drive. You see Derrick Henry hasn't really been effective in his last six carries. Only 21 yards from those six carries, but we need him. So you try to get a couple of first downs and keep this clock going. So we hand the football off to him right here. And look at Derrick Henry stumbling. And he's going to end up taking that one down to the 35-yard line. But he is inches shy of that marker. So we try to pick up the first down. The next play, hand it off to Derrick Henry. He's able to pick up that first down being brought down. And that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. So one more first down, and this game should be a wrap. Hand it off to Derrick Henry. He gets brought down. That will be a timeout. 
from the New York Giants. Hand it off to him again on the stretch, but the defense is all over and breaking out of a tackle, but it does not matter because there's more defenders there to clean up. So now third and 19, which is handing the football off, trying to make them use the final timeout, and they do. But the Giants, they now have an opportunity to try to either tie the game or take the lead. And right away, that is Iman on the catch, taking a huge hit. They are now down to the 46-yard line, 120 remaining in the ball game. Eli Manning, plenty of time just chilling in the pocket, but he does not get rid of it. And eventually that pocket is going to close. That is Brian Aragpo on the sack. Third and 12, Eli Manning. He's stepping up in the pocket, looking to the left, and that one is going to fall incomplete. So now a big fourth and 12 right here we can get them off the field that's going to be game Eli Manning taking a shot deep down the field 101 and it's going to bounce off of Ingram's helmet he will not catch it and that is going to be the ball game an incredible way to win he clearly burnt us right there that should have been a catch and maybe even a touchdown but we are coming out of here with the victory looking at the stats right now Eli Manning 16 for 35 two TDs through five interceptions. Mariota didn't do much better. He threw two picks in this ball game and it's, all, it's sad to say but Blaine Gabbert was the best quarterback on the field in today's matchup. Derrick Henry had 94 yards rushing. Barkley he went over 100 yards rushing as well. Mariota also contributed 35 yards on the ground. So our running back did an okay job. Derrick Henry he started eating especially late in the ball game. Corey Davis four catches 60 yards. He was our leading receiver. Delaney Walker only had eight receiving yards in this game that may be a season low for him Adore Jackson has six solo tackles seven total tackles but Kendrick Lewis he led us with eight solo uh, eight total tackles and Rashawn Evans also had eight total tackles now taking a look at the upgrades for this week Krushank our rookie cornerback we're going to upgrade his man-to-man archetype that's what we typically try to go man-to-man -man. and he only gets one upgrade but it is a plus three to his man-to-man -man rating so he is now a 70 overall corner so that's definitely pretty decent for us now taking a look now at the injuries Harold Landry he's out with a foot fracture he's out for nine weeks Klein one of our linemen who got hurt in this game and I just don't remember seeing it but he is out for a total of five weeks Kevin Byers is also out for five weeks as well so three pretty major injuries but luckily for us Mariota was only out for the game he would not miss any extended time and we're definitely going to need that because we have two games left in the season and we're probably going to need to win both games because we're eight and six houston's eight and six jacksonville actually lost which is huge for us but they own the tiebreaker so if we lose jacksonville wins they jump ahead of us once again so this is definitely going to be a crazy race to see who makes the playoffs out of this division a very very tight race houston definitely has the lowest odds of making it because they don't own any of the tiebreakers but it'll definitely be a close one and it's going to be exciting to finish out this season but that is everything i have for today's episode as always i definitely hope you guys did enjoy it if you did please go ahead and leave this video a like subscribe if you haven't already it's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.